Hey everyone, and welcome to the channel. Um, it's been a little while since we did our first series of videos. And I, when I say we, I mean just me, because that's, that's all it is, which is why it's been a while since I've done a video. I got a lot going on, I always do. Um, and this is a hobby, so it's just, you know, I don't want to just create content to create content. I want to post videos when I have something interesting to share. And um, also, it's been really hot, and um, the garage is hot. And so it's, uh, it's kept me out of the garage a little bit and with busyness this summer. But back at it, and I've got something cool that I think I want to share that you might be interested in. On the channel, we are going to build one of these. That's right. That's a skate guitar. You already knew that because you saw the description. But this is a cool thing. Uh, the way that I came across this is that a friend who was a skateboarder, surfer, and a guitar player, and he wanted uh, something to hang up in his shop that he thought would look cool, a wall hanger. And uh, I don't make wall hangers, but he, uh, he asked me if I could do it. And I said, well, let me take a look. So I looked into it. I looked at what it would cost. I gave him a price for something playable because I only do things that are playable. Um, and you didn't want to do it. But then that had this idea stuck in my head. So I didn't get to build one for him, but I had this idea, I had this idea, and then one day I was on eBay, and I don't know how I came across it, but I found two skateboard decks used that looked really cool that had stickers for Eternal Wave Surf Shop, which is a surf shop in Surfside Beach, South Carolina. We used to live there, and I was like, oh, that's really cool. You know what? I could buy those, and I could make one of those skate guitars that my friend was showing me. So um, there are other companies that do stuff I guess a little bit like this, but not exactly like this. Um, so I, I kind of came up with the idea and how to do it on my own, but um, yeah, it's pretty simple. Uh, and I think it's gonna be really cool. We're actually gonna make two of them. Um, I made this for myself, this is mine, you can't have it. Um, I made another one that I sold, and that was a few years ago probably. But I uh, came across some skateboard decks and like, let's give it a shot. So we're gonna build a couple of skate guitars and it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. My name's John. And this is Garage Guitars. Okay, so the way that we're gonna do this, it's pretty simple really. It's not very complicated. We're gonna start with a sacrificial guitar. And this one I made a little harder on myself than I needed to. And the second one I did, I did a little better. But um, uh, we're gonna start, obviously we have the neck, the tuners. We start with a sacrificial guitar because it gives us all the parts that we need. Um, and choosing the right guitar for that is important, but then I'll tell you what we got and why in a second. But then what we do is basically take, I've created a, a back for it. You know, this is what would normally be the body of the guitar. This one I made from scratch, which as it turned out was a mistake. Um, actually used the body from the sacrificial guitar on the second one that I did. Um, but we'll use that and um, then you take the skateboard deck and essentially put it on there like a big, huge overlapping pick guard. And so we'll need to shave the body down a little bit and you got to contour it because guess what? It's hard to see there, <laughs> but you know, the underside of a skateboard deck is not flat, it's round, which makes this a little bit tricky to do. Um, but nonetheless, it's simple. And then you mount all your stuff and make sure everything lines up and bada boom, there you go, you got a guitar. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna build one of those. Uh, let me show you the parts that I have for this build. Um, Got a couple of cheap guitars, okay, two of them right there, all right? They are PV Rockmasters, all right? Which are not expensive guitars, that's kind of the point. But the beautiful thing about them is, well, first of all, they're cheap, um, and we don't need a super expensive guitar to do this. Um, but the way that this body lays out, it's got a hardtail bridge, that's helpful because putting a trem in something like the skate guitar is gonna be tough. They are PVs and PVs are generally pretty well built. That's at least in my experience, they're good starter guitars. It's got all the parts that we need on it. Single humbucker, which is great. It's gonna sound great in the guitar. This one uh, has a pickup that I wound in it. So I, I love that. And, and this guitar actually plays really, really great and sounds really great. Just, I've never had a, a use for playing it in public. I just play it at home. Um, so hardtail bridge, humbucker, simple volume tone, a little wiggly as you can see. Um, but then it's got a nice solid back and string through construction. I think that's helpful unless you're going to string through the bridge, which you can do too. Um, but we'll go ahead and use the string through construction since we have that. Um, and then uh, there are no, here's the thing on this guitar. 
there are no control cavity routes like you would have on a Stratocaster, which is gonna be a problem, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the wings, essentially, off of this guitar, and we want nice solid wood, or as solid a wood as we can have, running down through these spots on the guitar, where I just drew my finger through the dust <laughs> on this guitar. Um, so this guitar, so this is gonna give us our best chance of success. And then what we'll have to do, we'll cut the, we'll cut the wings off, We'll plane the top of the guitar down by the thickness of the skateboard decks that we have to allow for that height. Um, and then we'll have to contour the body to match the contour of the uh, skateboard deck. And then we'll put it all together and see what happens. So I've got this one and I've got this one, which is kind of a cool purple color. Um, and this one's heavier than that. I'm guessing the body's made out of a different, different wood. Um, but essentially the same construction and um, the paint will come off so that won't matter. And then I have a couple of skateboard decks, okay? So here's the first one, it's purple. Maybe we'll put that one with the purple guitar. This side is all chewed up and unusable, so this will be the bottom of the guitar. We're gonna cut off the top partly on that. And then this one, which is kind of green and I think really cool looking too. I've, I've, I looked around for decks that I thought looked used, but also didn't have any inappropriate stickers or anything because that's not my jam. Um, and so I'm thinking we'll use this end of this because we've got more graphics going on this side. Um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm excited about it, I hope you are. And uh, when we're done, I actually put these up for sale, but I don't know, by the time I get the video up, they might already be gone. We'll see, if, the, if not, I'll put the link and so that you can grab one if you want to, if you really like it. So first step is gonna be disassembling these guitars. I'm gonna throw them over here and we'll speed that up. By the way, for those of you that are concerned about me using power tools on guitar hardware, first of all, these are not expensive guitars. Second, be very, very careful when I do use power tools, not to strip out anything and make sure we're going the right direction and all that. And then uh, also, hey, it's a skate guitar. If it was perfect, it wouldn't look right. All right, and then with each one, I'm gonna do a trick. I don't know if I showed this on another video. I think I did on the first video. But first of all, free Tupperware when you buy lunch meat at the grocery store. I use that stuff all the time. Every time we finish one, my wife's like, do you wanna keep it? Yep. Um, throw a piece of tape on it. And mark which parts are. Purple pavy. All right, set that aside. This one's good to go. It's gonna get a big haircut, all right? Um, and we got one more thing to do. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna show you another little trick. Okay, this is a work smarter, not harder scenario. So I'm gonna use this paper. Hang on. I'm gonna lay it on the guitar body. Did you see that? Right where all the, make sure I've got all the crucial stuff. We're gonna do this so that when we're done, we have the, cause we're gonna shave the top off of this guitar 
We're gonna have to. So we, we wanna make sure that we put holes all back where they belong in case we shave off more than the depth of the hole or whatever. And we just wanna be sure that we can use this as a template when we put the guitar back together with the skateboard deck. That way, um, you know, everything goes backwards supposed to. And so I just do this kind of with a dirty finger. For that, two more holes on there. There. Come around. The humbucker route is going to be really helpful for us. Okay. And the only other thing we should need is the neck pocket. Okay. And then I'm going to take my pencil, just kind of trace it. I think we're gonna have most of these are gonna be these are gonna be deep enough that when we even when we play in the top off of this guitar that we're still gonna have all these things marked but this is just insurance and then the other thing is that once we put the skateboard deck on top of this we're gonna to have to locate where those holes are underneath and so this is gonna be helpful in locating where those things are. Okay. And then we got a hole coming through here for our ground wire. I think that's all we're gonna need. And then we'll go purple PV. Oh. That's it, right? We got everything. Our six holes, our two. Oh, and there's one more in the middle which I can see because of my a dirty finger needs a little mark. Okay, good on that. This one's good to go. Uh, I'm gonna do the black guitar. I'm not gonna make you watch that. And uh, we'll get this all broken down and ready to go. And then uh, we'll come back later and have some time to take the wings off and do some shaping. See you soon. Mm-hmm.